The 2024 International Conference of ECOWAS Courts of Justice seeks to redefine the very fabric of justice within the ECOWAS community. This gathering serves as a melting point of lawmakers, legal luminaries, and key stakeholders from across the ECOWAS member states, united in their commitment to advancing the cause of justice and rule of law. President Bio, in his opening statement, set the tone for the four-day discourse, emphasizing the importance of collaboration and synergy in enhancing the potency of the ECOWAS Court of Justice. As members of the ECOWAS, we are bound together in shared vision of regional integration, cooperation, and the promotion of peace and prosperity for our people. The ECOWAS Court of Justice plays a pivotal role in advancing these noble objectives by upholding the principles of justice, fairness, and the rule of law across the region. This year's conference day, enhancing the role, relevance, and effectiveness of the ECOWAS Court of Justice through strengthening of synergies between the court and national stakeholders is timely and significant. It reminds us of the fundamental principles that underpin our collective efforts to build a more just, inclusive, and equitable society. With five sub-themes guiding the discussions over the course of the conference, over 250 participants are assured to explore innovative strategies and best practices to strengthen the ties between national stakeholders and the ECOWAS court. A highlight of the event was the address delivered by the guest speaker, Professor Ernest Kofi Abotsi, whose insightful discourse shed light on the overarching theme of the conference to rethink traditional approaches to judicial cooperation within the region. The role of national and sub-state actors in deepening the effectiveness of the court can hardly be overemphasized given their capacity to impact the operational objectives of the court. From activating the jurisdictional competencies of the court through initiating action of the court to exerting pressure on governments to comply with the orders of the court in given cases, national actors and stakeholders remain pivotal in shaping the fortunes and prospects of the court. Among the distinguished speakers were the Republic of Sierra Leone Attorney General and Minister of Justice, and the Honorable Acting Chief Justice, among others, who articulated the country's unwavering support for regional collaboration in the pursuit of justice and accountability. As Attorney General and Minister of Justice, I emphasize the crucial need to strengthen the role, relevance, and effectiveness of the ECOWAS Court of Justice. This imperative task requires building strong synergies between the court and our national stakeholders as we strive for regional integration and consolidation of democratic principles within the ECOWAS community. This conference will be discussing and debating the manner in which it is to be done through the framework of each country's judicial and legal system. We must bear in mind that the law in any country will be considered ineffective if sanctions imposed by it are not carried into effect. As the conference unfolds, it becomes increasingly evident that it holds the potential to bridge the gaps between member states and the ECOWAS Courts of Justice. Through robust dialogue, knowledge sharing and strategic partnerships, this gathering paves the way for a future where justice knows no boundaries with promise of a more just and equitable West Africa. Salifuchar Nakamura, AYV News.